Hi everybody, it's Jojo, and I'm here to do a makeup tutorial. So I have the AC on because it's it's hot out. It's starting, you know, it's summer, it's June, so it's finally hot. So I gotta put they have the AC on. So I'm gonna talk a little bit louder than I normally do, so you guys can hear me. I'm wearing this cute Daisy Duck Disney World summer T-shirt. Isn't it cute? Daisy with the shades, and she's looking at Magic Kingdom. Really nice summer tie-dye T-shirt. Um, okay, so this is my summer tropical tutorial, like beachy summer tropical tutorial. Um, I'm definitely going to do the Pride one very soon in the next few days. I'm going to try to do the, the, the Pride one because it is June is Pride Month too. So I'm going to go into Thirsty this time. I don't really like Thirsty, but this is Jeffree Star's... Cosmetics Summer Palette from 2018, and he has a lot of nice summer shades in here, which I'm probably I'm gonna dig mostly into this. And um, this summer I am about to do, I do all the time. Like I do every summer, and this is my go-to summer. It's my summer sunset tropical beachy look. I'm gonna do like a summer sunset eye with like a blue un underneath, like it's like casting a shadow on like the ocean, like it, you know the underneath is like the water and the so it's gonna look really cute. Okay, so, oh, I'm wearing this bracelet, this cute little bracelet that matches my shirt. Okay, so I'm here, so let's get started. So um, I'm wearing the Golden Mango Lagoon Body Cream, of course, from Bath and Body Works. And um, I'm probably gonna wear the Golden Mango Lagoon Mist from Bath and Body Works as well. And I'm gonna mix it with the Sweet Summer Kiss Mist Bath and Body Works. As well, everything with Bath and Body Works. But that's gonna be later in the video. Actually, you know what? I love Sweet Summer Kiss so much. Let me just spray some. This smells like a tropical, like a fruit punch. Like a summer, 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 like a summer cocktail. Oh, it smells so bad. Can't wait to put that on me later. All right, so let's get started. Um, There is a cast here. I don't know what the hell that is. It is what it is. We're just gonna have to ignore it for now. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into, um, you know what? I think the first shade I'm going to use is actually from Conspiracy. And this is the only shade I'm going to go into in Conspiracy. Everything else is going to be from Thirsty. I'm going to go into Cheese Dust, which is the orange in here. I've, okay, so I have pin on so many shades in this palette. It's crazy. I have to be honest with you guys. I'm probably going to de declutter this palette very soon. I just I just hit pin on every shade almost. And I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to keep it for a little bit longer. But we'll see. Um, okay, so Jesus. So let's talk about... Um, let's talk about... Oh, <laughs> I'm using that. Pink religion. Okay. Oh, so much shit going on in this. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to wheel over here. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, go in. So I have a few things to talk about in this video. Um. So, oh my God, I don't even know where to begin. So... I lost electricity um, the other day. I don't know why. I don't know how it happened. Um, all I know is it was, thank God it was during the day and it wasn't at night because then we would have had no lights and like, you know, nothing, no way to see. But um, it happened during the day, thank God. But um, yeah, it just, all of a sudden I heard a boom, like a big explosion, like we were under attack, literally. And we lost power. We lost power for a few hours. It didn't last that long, but you know, I, we've had lost power so many times in this neighborhood. It's it's really sad. I don't know why it keeps happening. Like it wasn't even, st normally when it storms, we lose power, but it, it, we just lost power. We I have no idea. There was really no rhyme or reason to it. It was a beautiful day, no storm. But it was only for a few hours. I don't, I, I always go back and forth. Like, I don't know if I've read lose power in the winter or the summer, because it's both bad. You know, in the winter, if you lose electricity, you know, there's no hot water to shower. 
and then in um, the summer, if you lose electricity, there's no AC. So it's kind of like, they both suck. They both suck. So either way, it sucks to lose electricity, obviously. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that's it for conspiracy. And now I'm going to go into thirsty. The rest of our eyes is going to be all thirsty. So now I'm going to go into bitch. Which is that bright coral there. Yeah. So, um... That's on that. So yeah, it was only for a little while. Nothing too big, but, um... You know, um... You know, it just sucks to lose power. Anyways, um... So let's talk about Bath and Butterworks for a second. Sam Manuel still starts in a few days. Um, I do want to say and mention that... Um, I saw people's reviews. I got the products early. And um, yeah, no one really likes the coconut one or the sherbet one. Like, I don't know. No one really likes those scents. They're really not catching anybody's eye. So I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely getting the watermelon one and back up some of my cotton candy clouds. But other than that, I don't know if I'm really gonna really care about this semi no so to be honest. Yeah, this summer I'm about to do like it's the perfect beach day with the girls, beach day with your friends, boardwalk, wherever you want to go. Like it's just such a pretty summer eye. It's not too crazy. It's just like just enough color and just enough like brightness, you know, to really it's just nice. It's simple. You don't, it's not that many steps. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Quench, which is the yellow. And I think I'm going to use my finger for this. Let's see if this works. If, I don't know. If I need like another yellow from another palette, I'll do it. But this one might be okay. I might not need to go into the other one. So, um, I really don't go into this palette often, especially the, the mattes, the shimmers I always go into, but the mattes, I don't really, like, look, you see it on my finger, it's so patchy, this shade. Yeah, this was not Jeffrey's best. This is where he discontinued it. Oof. I know. It's okay. So I have to keep going over it. It's so patchy. It's like, ugh. I don't know. Yeah, I, this is not my favorite palette. He's had better yellow mattes in other, uh, in other palettes of his, so this is just, yeah, not his best. It's okay, we're just gonna keep it pushing. I love the summer. Like, I have to be honest, I love the summer. Um, I really, really do. I think sometimes it gets too hot and I don't like to sweat, so, you know, I like to be in a pool or by the AC or whatever, but um, summer is my second favorite season. No, well, is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is my second favorite season. Fall is always my favorite, but summer is my second favorite. I think everyone loves summer. 
you know? Some is always great. Except for when it's too hot. Like, I know some states and some countries is just too hot where it's, like, completely unbearable. New York does get like that sometimes. But it's not all the time in the summer. Just some, certain days in the summer we do get, like, real bad heat, heat waves, like, heat days. But other than that, like, the summers aren't that bad. As long as we stay in the AC or we go in the pool or whatever. Okay. So... That's it basically for the lid. That's it basically for the lid. Um, now, I don't know if I should go into the black liquid liner. I might go in, just because I always go into black liquid liner. You don't have to do this step, obviously. Um, what else I want? I want to talk about um, Real Housewives in New Jersey. So, yeah. Listen. I always thought Teresa when she was saying like, oh, you, you, you called the police on me or you did this, you did that. I thought it was all just a gimmick or a gag, you know, just something for her to say for a gag in the moment. But Caroline did come forward and, and Caroline Manzo, and she did say, no, someone definitely did it within our friendship circle. Someone did it within the cast. But I'm not, she didn't specify who. She said it wasn't her, but she, did, she didn't want to say who exactly was. But she said someone definitely called the feds on Teresa and Joe Judice, 100%. Um, now, if, if whoever this person was, if they didn't call, would they eventually got caught? Of course they would have. But, who knows, you know? But I think it was Joe Gorga and Melissa. And she even confirms it in the next reunion, this reunion. She confirms, like, she thinks it was her, her brother and sister-in-law who did call the feds on them. It could have been. Caroline says she witnessed someone do it. She didn't still want to say who it was. But I, I do think it was Joe Gorga and Melissa. I really, really do. I do, because at the time they hated, oh, this liquid line, okay, I'm going to have to list out because it's just got bad, all right? Let's get out. There's, like, nothing left in that. All right, let me take out my Too Faced. So, yeah, so, like, so, basically, um, I do think it was Jogo and Melissa. I really, really do. They, they hated her at the time, you know? I do think they wanted their revenge because of all the, the, stri the stripper rumors that Teresa was supposedly spreading, the cheating rumors, all that shit. And then I think they had enough of her, so they wanted to reveal something of, you know, they wanted to reveal something of um, that she was doing or that they were doing. So they got, they seek their revenge and they did it in a sneaky way because no one knew it was them. But I do think it was them. Caroline Mantle did confirm. She didn't say who exactly was, but I mean, she basically said it without saying it, you know. Um, It's fucked up and shitty. I have to say like, I don't know. Like, at the end of the day, um, Joe and Teresa did what they did. Like, there's no one else to blame but them. But if her brother and sister-in-law did do that, I mean, that's so fucking shitty. No matter what Teresa was saying behind their backs, what rumors she was spreading, nothing can compare to her going to jail for a year. Joe going to jail for years, being deported, never being able to come back. Nothing could, like, you know, compare to that. But you know, it's extremely fucked up. Um, I think Melissa and Joe need to go. I think they need to go. They have no storyline other than Teresa. Um, I think after this story, after this, what Teresa reveals, and you know, everyone now thinking they she, they did call the feds on her, they might stay for the next season just to see how that progressed. But to be honest with you, I really think they need to go. There's there's nothing else they could say or do that would change Teresa or anyone else's minds, like. That's it. Like, honestly, there's not there's nothing else for them to say. Like, they're done. They've been on for ten years. God bless them, but it's enough now. They need to leave. This liquid line is so dried out, but I'm happy because I don't need like a really thick, like really pigmented liquid liner right now because I just want like a little something in it like I don't want anything that extreme yeah cause this eye I want it to be very like light and summery and stuff and nothing too dark you know I do want to put a little something in there, in, in the in the liquid liner here, even though really nothing's coming. 
I'm just stamping like, you know, a little bit here. Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, that liquid liner is also going in the empties, girl. Okay, and now with, okay, so the eyeliner. So maybe I will do an eyeliner. Where's my eyeliner? Oh God, I can't even see it, it's so small. I'm gonna do my eyeliner. This I will do. I always like, I never like my eye, my line here to be blank ever. Of course, you can always skip this step as well, but like, you know. Um, just like a little bit, you know. That's it. Just a little sum sum, you know? Okay. So yeah, so this season of Jersey was not my favorite, but I will say that it was still good. Like, I still enjoyed it. You know, it's had its moments. The finale was absolutely crazy and batshit. And yeah, I mean... But I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was very entertaining to watch. Um... Louie, definitely, there's stuff is shit going on with Louie. I don't know what it is. I really can't, you know, because I don't know him personally. I really don't know what the deets are, but there's definitely something really wrong with him. He was, he looked crazy at the finale, and then, like, all these shits coming out that he's private investigators. He's trying to go into people's personal lives and trying to find out things from their past. It's really fucking sketchy and shit. Like, really fucking sketchy, but... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if like, it, it comes out that he killed someone. Because he really does look like a, a psycho. But Teresa is just so in love with him that, like, I don't think she gives a shit. I think she would still be... This is the thing. I think she would have still been with Joe Judice if he wasn't deported. I think she loves Louie, but she will always be in love with Joe Judas. That's how I feel. I really do think that. I think that if she, if he was not deported and wasn't able to come back to this country, she would have stayed with him regardless. I do believe that. It's just him being deported. She wasn't going to stay with him after that. So she had no other choice but to leave him. But she was going to be there for him through thick and thin. She really would be. She really would have, like... But unfortunately, he was deported and he couldn't, he can't come back. And that's what really hurt their marriage was that because she was never going to move to Italy. She was never going to do that because, first of all, the Real House in New Jersey, this is her career. She'll never leave her job or her career and her kids. I don't think they wanted to move to Italy. I mean, obviously. So she definitely stayed, you know, and I understand, you know, I do understand. I, w I probably at that point, I, I don't know, I might have left. If I was still in love with someone, I don't know if I would have. I don't know. It depending on the situation. I might have stayed in the country, or maybe I would have moved. I don't know, but I I get why she did what she did. But she will always be in love with him. Always, always be in love with with Joe Judice. She'll never. It it just it's just what it is. What it is. She's head over heels in love with that man. And the only thing that stops her from loving him was his de deportation to Italy. That's all it was. Well, you know what? She's happy now. The wedding was beautiful. You know, her wedding special came on. I get why she didn't have like a like um like a series because the one episode was enough. It was nice. It was really pretty. Um, everyone's making this big fucking deal about her hair. I didn't think it was a big deal. I get what she was saying. The crown was really big, so they needed to wrap around the, they needed to have something to work around the crown. Her hair could not be small for that big crown. So I could get why they did that, but I don't even think the hair was that crazy looking either. Like, that's just my opinion. I don't know why, but I just, I guess I'm the only one that didn't think the hair was a big deal. It definitely, um, 
you know, was big, but it wasn't like, oh my, I don't know, like, I don't know. I really didn't think it was a big deal, honestly. But, um, yeah, the wedding was nice. Um, I don't think she was upset that Joe and Melissa didn't go to her wedding. I don't think she wanted them there, you know? I think if they were there, she would have been fine with it, you know, because that's her brother. But I deep down, she really didn't want them there. And it is what it is. You know, she she she, she doesn't want them in her life. You know, um, I feel like I'm picking my nose. I'm just, itch, it's just itch. Um, she didn't want them there. They didn't want to be there. And it, the, the, both parties were mutual and they didn't go. It's that simple. Um, now, with the rumor with Melissa cheating on Joe, I do think it's true. I don't think Teresa wanted the rumor to come out on television. I really didn't think she wanted that. I think that she wanted the season to be focused on her wedding. She didn't want it to be focused on Melissa's bullshit. But um, she definitely wanted her Joe to know that this is what's going on with Melissa. And I believe it. And she did believe I do believe she believed it. And so did Louie. Now she's saying otherwise. But at the time, I do believe she did. And I, I still think she does. She's just saying now because I guess she doesn't want to, like, keep saying that she believes it. Because it makes, I guess, her look bad. I don't know. But she definitely believes it. And I definitely think it did happen. I don't think Teresa wanted Danielle to bring it out at the finale. I think that she she probably told to listen, I'm probably gonna bring it out at the finale. And she said to her like, do whatever you wanna do. I just don't wanna be involved. I think that's probably the most of what she said to her. But I don't think that she told her to do that. I think that she just knew she, it was gonna happen. And she said, do, what, do, do at your own risk, just leave me out of that kind of thing. And Jen Aiden probably said the same thing, like, just leave me out of that. But this is the thing. They both sat down with Marge's ex-friend that, that said all that shit about, you know what I mean? Um, Melissa and Teresa both sat down with the, the big Marge's ex-friend. So obviously they knew some shit was going to come out. I don't think they thought it was going to come out about Melissa, but I do think that they wanted to sit and hear the shit about Marge because they hated Marge at, at the time. And, well, they still do. And they wanted to get dirt on her. But then there was a twist because then the friend revealed about Melissa. So then they had this thing about Melissa now that they didn't think was going to be said to them. But it was. And, um... Yeah, it is what it is. At the end of the day, honestly, Joe's in the match with her, not us. It, it, it's his choice to believe it or not. We we can believe it and say it happened, but he's the one married to her. If he if he doesn't care, then why should we care? You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Whatever. She didn't kill anyone. It was just a kiss. Who cares? Whatever. You know what? They're definitely going on a pause for next season. They're not filming in the summer. So they're not going to say it. Maybe they'll have a a baseball game in this fall but um yeah they usually have their baseball games in the summer but yeah so i'm happy to see fall and christmas jersey because we haven't seen that in a while they're doing the pours though not because they want to they want to show fall and, and, and christmas for new jersey they're doing it because they're definitely cutting people from the cast they need to rearrange shit i think they need to get rid of melissa jackie the jen fessler girl and i think Honestly, I think even Rachel Fuda needs to go as well, to be honest with you. I think Marge, Dolores, Jen, Jen Aiden, Teresa, and Danielle 
are the only ones I think should stay. And then maybe they need to add one other person for the next season and that's it, to be honest with you. Um, that's it. But yeah, no, I, did, I definitely think they need to get rid of Rachel. And they need to get rid of... Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to get the thing on. And they need to get rid... They definitely need to get rid of Melissa. I'm sorry, they need to get rid of Melissa. Melissa, Rachel, Jackie, and Jen Fessler. That, that's it. That simple. Okay, so now I'm going to put the blue under the eyes. The only thing is, is that I don't know if, um, let me see the blues and thirsty, because I haven't really seen the blues and thirsty in a while. I think I'm going to use submerge and not splash. Yeah, I think I'm going to use Submerge, which is the brighter blue. But I do want to do something else on the, the lash line. I may do Soaked in Jawbreaker. And then put Submerge underneath it. Yeah, put like Soaked, which is the bright blue. And then put Submerge underneath it. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to align... Where is my liner blush? Where the hell are you? Yeah. the hell are you? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna align with the submerge and then put, I'm gonna do that. I love this. This this puts a look together because it's like it's like blue underneath. It's just so pretty. Like it really looks like like the ocean, like the like the water underneath the eye. So pretty. for jawbreaker girl get over there okay now we're gonna go back to thirsty and go into submerge and lash and put that in the lash line oh i don't think i've ever went into this shade before let me see shade looks pretty Yeah, I really like to delve into color for the summer. It's a cute summer palette for Thirsty. I just wish the 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 mask were a little more pigmented, but other than that, it's a cute summer palette. The shimmers are the best. I love the shimmers. but I love the summer sunset over the ocean eye. It's like the best.
Okay. Very pretty. Oh, I love it. This is so fucking great. Excuse my French, but I just, I love this eye. This is like my favorite summer eye all the time. It really is. Okay, so now the Inaquana, I think. I think Inaquana, well, there's the middle row here, but I'm not gonna go into any of the middle from Thirsty. Maybe I'll just go into. I think I'm gonna go into Cervicophagus. Oh. Jeffrey Star. Make the damn thing open. Okay. So Little Mermaid is out. I still haven't seen it. I didn't see any reviews either for the film. Um. I do know it's supposed to be very different than the than the cartoon. They're gonna add a lot more to the um to the live action. I don't know what exactly, but I did hear that um it's going to be um the, it's gonna be the same concept, but it's gonna be like a different retelling of the story. So I'm a little ex I'm really excited for it. I don't know when I'm gonna see it. I do want to see it in the theater. I just don't know when. You know, um, just another one. I do want to go when it's like less crowded, you know, like I just don't want, the thing is, is that it's hard because you don't know what kind of crowd you're going to get in the theater. They can be loud. They can be obnoxious. They can be talking the whole time. And that's just going to piss me off because I really want to see this movie and enjoy it. And if someone's talking throughout the movie or some shit happens or the phone goes off, or something, it's going to piss me off. So that's why I don't really like seeing movies in the theater, especially movies that I really want to see because I don't want it to be ruined while I'm watching it. I like to enjoy the movie. But, you know, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Let me see what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight my brows now. Oh, oh no, but I would. Okay. So that's on that. Okay. That should be fine enough. Find a dandy. Must have a mascara. All right, so, um, Yeah, I love summer. What do you guys think of summer? Like, let me know what you guys think of summer. I think summer's great. I really, really do. I always loved it. Even as a kid, obviously, there was no school. It's just better weather. It's prettier. You do more things outside. You can do more fun things. You just be cooped up in the house, you know? It's Summer's great. You know, everyone loves to go on vacation. Everyone loves to have fun. For me, I know beach, the, going to the beach is like the number one summer thing. 
I don't like the beach that much. You know, the beach is great to look at. It's the same thing as I said about the winter with the snow. Like, it's pretty to look at, but it's like, I don't want to be in it. The reason why I don't want to be on the beach is because I don't like the sand. The sun is extra beaming on the beach for some weird reason. I don't know why. And I'm really sensitive to the sun and it's, you know, a little too hot for me. Even with sunblock, like, you know, I, for some reason the sun just irritates me, my skin. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the beach, but I love looking at it. Like, I think it's beautiful to look at, especially a little like a summer sunset. Like, I love to look at that. It's so pretty. The ocean and everything about it, like. You know, I, I I do I do love the the concept of the beach and looking at it and like everything else. I just don't like being in it for some weird reason, you know. But but you know, people love the beach. You know, the beach is a great thing. It's really really nice. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's pretty. You know, so people love the beach. I'd rather the pool. Like, I just always love the pool. It's just cleaner, it's cool, you know, it's just nice and just, you just lay on your beach, you can lay on like a floaty, <laughs> just enjoy your fucking day. Lying in the pool, like, I always loved it. So yeah, as I said, the next few um, tutorials are going to be the Pride one and the um, 4th of July is coming. I might do the, the Mermaid one, the Mermaid Lagoon one in June as well this month. But the 4th of July one is going to come in the beginning of next month, obviously. I'm going to do the 4th of July one. Yeah, but... Yep, it's Pride Month. You know, I love, you know, obviously I love Pride. I'm gay, I'm part of the LGBT community, but this year I always love the parades in the city, but I don't think I'm going to go this year because it's the day after my cousin's wedding and the day before this huge party I'm supposed to go to. So it's kind of like I'm in, it's sandwiched in between these two big important days. So it's like I needed a day to rest, you know? Um... And I think, but then I don't think I'm even going to work that day. I mean, I rest that day. I'm probably going to work. But I don't think I'd be able to go to the, and it's always so hot anyways, the Pride Parade. It's always like the hottest day of the month. I don't know why, but it always is. The sun is extra beaming on that day for us gays. And there it is. Here's on that. That's on not. Okay, so now it's time to do my all, all, all over the face powder.
And if, <laughs> excuse me. And if you guys have seen The Little Mermaid yet in the theater, let me know how you liked it. Don't don't tell me any spoilers, but just let me know if you liked it or not. You know. Okay. Now time to do Consua and white lights like I always do, and then blush. I love this look. Like it's it's like glam, but like summer glam, you know. You know, maybe I'll go into, maybe I'll, t you know, I'm going to go, go into this. I know I just used that contour, but I'm going to top it with this contour. This is from Colourpop and it's called Avelia Beach. So might as well, because it's called Avelia Beach. So it's just like this beachy contour, I guess. I don't know, but since we're doing a beachy summer tutorial, we'll do this. Is it going to open, girl? Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go into it with this. Just no, just to top it off, I guess. Just a little bit. It's kind of like the same color as the one I just used. The one I just used is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's a little more color to the face. Okay, so now we're gonna do highlights. So I think I'm gonna go into Cerebrocophagus and go into um, Citrus Bling. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna go into Diamond Diamond Wet on top of uh, Cerebrocophagus. So it's gonna be a very blinding, beaming highlight. We're gonna beam for the gods for the summer, girl. We're gonna make it really blinding. We want the sun to catch all this highlight, girl. The shiny, hot sun to catch all this highlight. Mm -hmm. Let me see how we are with time. Oh, yes, an hour like always. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go into Diamond Wet. I love Diamond Wet. It's like a glittery. This was also part of his summer collection one year. Oh, I, I forgot to, to mention his dog died, Diva, his first dog, his first baby. That's been with him for years, just died from cancer. That's sad, you know. Um, I, I teared up when I saw the post. It's not easy to lose an animal, and he lost, this is his third dog I think he lost, so. It's not easy, it's not easy at all. It's really hard to, to go through a, a loss especially with a pet that you've been with for years. It's not easy. So my heart goes out to him in this, you know, tough time. I know Tina Turner just died. I, don't, I really don't know about Tina Turner. I know she was a big pop star in like the 70s or 80s or whatever, and she has good music, but you know, she died of an old age. Like she lived a long life. You know, but um, she just died, I heard. I'm just gonna like... Highlight there. All right, now we're gonna go into blush. 
Where are you, baby? There's my blush. I'm going to go into my favorite blush ever. Sweetheart blush. This blush is so good. It's like a light pink, but it's not too pigmented. It's just enough, you know? And you can always build this up if you want more. I'm not a big blush person, but you can always build it up. I also like to dab it in a little more like that. Just add a little flush of color to the face. Okay, now it's time for setting spray, girl. Where's my... <laughs> like swish splash on my face with that mist. Keep my extra wet today. <laughs> okay, now it's time for lips. I'm gonna go into, um, Circus Peanut. Right, or should I go into, uh, should I go into Watermelon Soda? I don't know. I know Watermelon Soda is like a very like summery lip, but I don't know if it's gonna go with this look. Yeah, it's not gonna go with this look. I may use this for the Pride tutorial though, but um, I'm actually gonna, I will go into Circus Peanut. Mix a little bit. I'm gonna go into it as is because um the new no liner is such a pretty bright sum summery lip. Oh, it smells like like cream soda with ice cream. The one thing about summer I don't like is that the goddamn ice cream truck taunts me all summer long. You hear the sum the ice cream truck like you know jingle coming down the block, and you're like, damn, you because I can't have it because I'm lactose, allergic to dairy, and I really I can't I can't have ice cream at all. It's kind of like it, it sucks. I'm like, damn, I really want the ice cream, but I know I can't eat it. I don't think they had dairy-free ice cream in the, um, the ice cream truck. They should do. They should have like a dairy-free ice cream truck that comes down the block as well. A frozen yogurt ice cream truck would be nice too. Look how pretty that lip is. I love circus peanut. So this is going to conclude. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to top the lipstick with this gloss from Kylie. This is the, um, I used, I think my last tutorial, this is the, um, always shining gloss. But first I'm going to put on some fragrance. So first I'm going to go into the Golden Mango Lagoon body mist. This is the mini. Just put some of that on. And then my Sweet Summer Kiss. So these two together. This smells like a tropical mango orange juice, right? This smells like a tropical 
fruity cocktail. So both of these together literally smells just like a tropical fruit punch. It's just, it's so good. So this is a good combo if you have to see some of kids, but this is so discontinued that I wear this every summer. And this is my last bottle. I already went through a whole one. This is over halfway done. I use this every summer. It's my go-to summer scent. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. It smells divine. Okay, now I'm gonna put the gloss on because it's pretty much dried. I like to be fully dry, but it's pretty fully dry. So this is it without the gloss. I don't think it needs the gloss, but I'm gonna put it on anyways because I like gloss. Oh my God, I love, I just, I love makeup. I do, I love makeup. Makeup is, oh, so good. And that's it. This is the finished look. Here is my go-to summer beachy tropical sun. I don't know what I'm going to really name this yet, but something like that. Look how pretty and summery this is. So I got like this sun sunset going on in the top eye. And then I got the blue underneath that's like looking like there's like a sunset over like the ocean or a pool. I love it. It's my, it's such a colorful, this is my t-shirt again. This is such a colorful, cute summer makeup look. It really is. Like it's, like you cannot go wrong with this summer makeup look. I love it. I, this is my go-to summer makeup. My, my summer look, you can, I can't wait for you guys to try this and pull it out. It's so nice. Like it's so colorful, but it's not too crazy. You know, it's not too crazy in your face. This is just enough where like, you can tell it's like a bright, cute everyday summer eye and lips so um yeah and this is the highlight and the blush shining beaming bright okay well i hope you guys um enjoy the beginning of your summer um i love you guys so much um yeah and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one bye